So one of the main differences in Release 12 is this underlying concept called subledger accounting, or SLA. And what SLA is, it's, a, it's sort of a different way of storing your accounting information. So here's probably a pretty simplistic view of this. In the past, your accounting details were carried with the, with, in various tables in Oracle receivables, and then you pass that information as journal entries to the general ledger. With SLA, you'll notice that there's other this intermediate step. So your accounting details are stored in receivables, but they're also stored in subledger accounting. And so I think that's an important thing to know because it, it makes a difference in terms of like your processing. And this clearly is a R12 only um, option. Um, one of the things that sort of the the big advertising factor of why you might want to use SLA. Not that you have a choice. I mean, some people go, oh, we're going to install SLA, and it's like, you don't have a choice. If you're on release 12, you are using SLA. It's just the underlying core of how things work. But what SLA does is, is it allows you to have much more control over your accounting. Now, in receivables, they still use auto accounting, but with SLA, you can actually go in and you can create additional rules in terms of how you want your accounts to be defined and how you want them to be stored and accounted for and things where you can do this, but should you do this? Because my sense is that if you properly set up AR, you shouldn't need to have to over, unless you have some weird scenario like the one I just mentioned or something else. Um, you really should not have to use uh, um, the SLA rules to determine, um, to override what IR is doing. And a real key caveat with this is if you do use SLA to change your accounting values and how they're derived, what happens is then AR and your AR reports will show, show one GL account, and your GL and SLA reports will show another account. And so then you'll always have a reconciling item. And, I, I always think that's a bad thing. So that it's something I would, you know, study this carefully and see. Okay, could there is there something you could do in receivables so that you wouldn't have to use SLA? And that would always be my first choice because even though it's there and it does buy you some other advantages, but I just think that but overriding the accounts is is a, is a pretty dangerous option. 